Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar where we will talk about how to build your personal procurement plan in 2024. If you need to grab a cup of water or a cup of coffee, feel free to do it now. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Again, for those who are joining, uh, welcome to today's webinar where we'll talk how to build your personal procurement plan in 2024. Please let us know in the comment section below which country you are joining from. It's always interesting to find out uh, where so many people from all over the world are joining from. So just let us know in the comment section below the country that you are joining from. Again, for those who are just joining this webinar, welcome and uh, we will start this webinar in approximately 3 minutes. So, in the meantime, let us know in the comment section below which country you are joining from. Also, throughout the webinar, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section below here on LinkedIn. For those who are just joining, welcome to today's webinar where we'll talk about how to build your personal procurement plan in 2024. We'll start this webinar in approximately 2 minutes, so if you need, in the meantime, go grab your cup of water or a cup of coffee before we start this webinar. In the meantime, feel free to let us know in the comment section below which country you are joining from. It's always interesting to find out um, where people from what all over the world are joining from. I still see a lot of people joining this session. So again, for those who are just joining, welcome. We will start this webinar in approximately one and a half minutes. So feel free to grab a cup of water or a cup of coffee in the meantime. Also, please let us know in the comment section below which country you are joining from. the webinar if you have any questions feel free to let us know in the comment section below here on LinkedIn we will start this webinar in approximately one minute so let's just give some time for uh, people that are still trying to join and we will start the webinar very soon for those who keep joining I see that we have people from all over the world please let us know in the comment section below which country you are joining from Welcome to those who just joined the webinar, we will start this uh, session in about 30 seconds. So if you want to grab a cup of water or a cup of coffee, you still have a few seconds and we will start it very soon. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. Welcome to today's webinar where we will break down the basics of procurement. I'm thrilled you are here because in the world of procurement and negotiations, learning is a continuous journey. Now let me introduce myself. My name is Philippe and I'm a proud team member of Procurement Tactics. Now let's move to our agenda. We'll cover the advanced procurement dynamics and introduce you to creating a personal procurement plan. Next, we will talk about setting goals and establishing procurement objectives tailored to your organization. This involves a strategic examination of the company's overall strategy, goals, mission and vision and other contextual factors at play. Join us for this informative session as we go through the key elements of effective procurement planning. Let's delve into the concept of a personal procurement plan and understand its significance. So what exactly is a personal procurement plan? Simply put, it's a roadmap that outlines the goals for the upcoming year and the necessary actions to achieve these goals. 
It is a guiding framework that directs deliveries and savings within your company. Procurement goals typically aligned with business objectives and customer expectations aim to meet specific needs, such as purchasing healthy products at a fair price. This dual connection internally with the business and externally with customers requires flexibility in the plan to adapt the changing circumstances. As a result, it undergoes renewal on an annual basis. An essential aspect is ensuring that the plan complies with local laws and regulations worldwide, coupled with maintaining efficient administration practices. Now, why is it crucial for your personal procurement plan to be specific to your organization? It's all about alignment with the business strategy. The plan serves as a guiding principle in decision making, emphasizing clarity and simplicity. It should be easily understood by all stakeholders involved. Now, let's consider a few examples to illustrate this. If your organization is establishing an office in a new country, your procurement plan will dictate how much you are willing to pay for goods or services compared to the local market. It will also specify the kind of incentives suppliers should offer to meet your procurement goals. So, in the case of a company undergoing an acquisition, a procurement plan streamlines the comparison of deals between two entities, helping to align them seamlessly. Moreover, your strategy aids in maintaining focus throughout the year, concentrate on variables outlined in your plan and avoid distractions. In essence, a well-crafted personal procurement plan is more than a document. It's a strategic tool that ensures your procurement goals align with business objectives, remain adaptable to changes, and provide a clear direction for decision-making processes. Transitioning to organizational goals, let's explore the key components of a personal procurement plan and how it aligns with our organization's strategy and mission. The starting point is always the organization's goals for the business and its people. When creating your procurement plan, consider what your company aims to achieve throughout procurement, particularly in terms of increasing savings and cutting costs, especially if financial challenges exist. Your procurement plan should be designed to support organizational goals and facilitate growth in sales while stabilizing or decreasing costs. This requires a plan that is both externally competitive and internally equitable, ensuring alignment without losing sight of internal dynamics. Additionally, your procurement plan should be tailored to support various levels of goals within the organization. It should drive the required enablers needed to reach those overarching organizational objectives. To illustrate, let's immerse ourselves in a case study featuring InstaFresh, a leading meal delivery service in the United States. Established in 2017, InstaFresh has swiftly emerged as a prominent player in the meal delivery market, serving health-conscious consumers across major metropolitan areas. While the demand for convenient and nutritious meals is on the rise, InstaFresh encounters challenges in optimizing its procurement process to ensure profitability and sustainable growth. Operating within a network of partner kitchens and distribution centers, InstaFresh grapples with the intricacies of sourcing high-quality ingredients at a competitive prices while maintaining stringent quality standards. To navigate these challenges and align with its organizational goals, InstaFresh has devised a comprehensive procurement strategy encompassing the following key initiatives. Firstly, diversifying the supplier base enhances negotiation power and mitigates supply chain risks. InstaFresh aims to establish strategic partnerships with a wider array of suppliers ranging from local farms to global distributors to ensure a steady and cost-effective supply of fresh ingredients. Secondly, investing in technology and data analytics to optimize inventory management and forecast demand more accurately. Leveraging advanced algorithms and machine learning capabilities, InstaFresh seeks to minimize waste and streamline procurement processes while catering to fluctuating consumer preferences. Thirdly, prioritizing sustainability and ethical sourcing practices to resonate with environmentally conscious consumers. InstaFresh is committed to source organic, locally sourced ingredients whenever feasible and engaging suppliers who adhere to fair labor practices and sustainable farming methods. 
Lastly, for fostering collaboration and transparency across internal departments and external stakeholders to drive innovation and continuous improvement. InstaFresh emphasizes cross-functional teamwork and open communication channels to solicit feedback and identify areas for optimization throughout the procurement lifecycle. This case study underscores how a well-crafted procurement plan aligned with organizational goals can serve as a strategic enabler for driving growth and resilience in a competitive market landscape. As we delve deeper into the realm of procurement strategy, we will continue to explore actionable insights and best practices to enhance your organization's procurement capabilities. Let's explore the critical steps in setting the objectives and goals of your personal procurement plan. Before diving into that, it's important to understand how to gather the relevant information and from whom. Now, I'm about to share some trade secrets, something many consultants hesitate to do, fearing redundancy once the information is out there. Here's a glimpse into my approach. To start off, search by looking at the current procurement information in your company right now. Just as your business strategy will guide you to what the company needs from its procurement team, the current procurement information will clue you in on an enormous amount of information about products, services and suppliers. It also should be the easiest information to gather as it should be readily available to you as a procurement professional. But in reality that's often not the case, especially if in your organization has grown internationally with operations that were managed only at the local level or if in your company grew through acquisitions that remain independent. Your first step is to establish a comprehensive list or database of all the products or services that your company is buying. This should cover all the details including allowances, volumes and all possible other agreements that exist in the organization. It should also list all the suppliers that deliver anything. For example, for a procurement manager in the hotel sector, how many euros are spent on furniture, cutlery, sheets and towels? What are the volumes behind every variable? What are the contract terms and is there an overview of the current supplier landscape? Are there satisfaction rates of the current suppliers? Make sure you include all levels of information you can think of. The same procurement manager should consider doing a thorough external analysis. This is the overview that helps you to look outside and provide insight into your product chain and sector dynamics. Important questions to take into account here are What are my important raw materials and how are they developing? Do I currently have insight into my main cost components? Who are my current suppliers and which are potential? What is my delivery risk? What happens in the market and what are the other trends and possible challenges? Stay informed about market dynamics, competition, trends and potential challenges. Having a clear view of existing arrangements allows you to analyze these elements when establishing the new plan. You can then decide what to keep, amend, cancel or replace. We will delve into the details of internal and external analysis later to provide you with a comprehensive understanding. As you collect data and gather feedback, it's crucial to involve key players those who play a vital role in shaping and executing your procurement plan. Recognizing that this isn't a solo effort, identifying these key stakeholders and forming a solid project team is essential for effective project management. Consider this. When tasked with truly reviewing your organization's procurement strategy, who should be part of the process? It's important to include individuals with diverse perspectives and roles. In day-to-day -day operations, the collaboration between procurement and sales is evident. After all, successful procurement relies on successful sales outcomes. The board, especially the procurement director or directors, holds a crucial role in guiding the project in the right direction. Insights from internal stakeholders combined with data from business and procurement strategies give a thorough understanding of the goals of the procurement plan. The collaborative approach ensures that the plan not only aligns with the organization's overall goals, but also considers the practical aspects of daily operations. Once the procurement plan goals are set, options reviewed, strategies formulated and priorities established, the final step is implementation. This stage requires active involvement from stakeholders, effective communication, regular reviews, result assessments and, if needed, adjustments to the plan. 
The engagement of stakeholders throughout the implementation process ensures that the plan remains flexible, responsive to changes and capable of delivering sustained value. In essence, involving stakeholders ensures a comprehensive perspective, fosters effective communication and allows for ongoing refinement, leading to the successful implementation of your procurement plan. The combined expertise and collaboration of diverse stakeholders contribute to a well-rounded and resilient approach, enhancing the overall effectiveness of the procurement strategy. This inclusive process not only improves project management, but also strengthens the plan against unforeseen challenges, ensuring its adaptability and sustainability in the dynamic business landscape. Continuous engagement of stakeholders' positions, the procurement plan as a living document, evolving alongside organizational needs and industry developments. In summary, let's break down the main points from today's webinar. Firstly, we learned that having a well thought out personal procurement plan is like having a smart strategy. It's not just about saving money, it's about ensuring your plan supports your company goals. We also talked about how procurement is about more than just buying things at the best prices. It involves strategic moves like mergers, acquisitions and managing the board. We explored how things like being socially responsible and following local laws can affect procurement strategies. Moving on, we discussed the important steps in creating a personal procurement plan. It's all about gathering the right information from inside and outside your company. Understanding what you are currently doing and looking at the bigger picture helps in making smart decisions for the new plan. Lastly, we stress the power of teamwork. Involving people from different teams, especially those in procurement and sales, is like having a winning strategy. It ensures everyone is on the same page, communicating well, and making sure the plan gets put into action successfully. So, in a nutshell, a smart plan that supports your company goals, considers the bigger picture, and involves your team is the key to successful procurement. Check out our procurement strategy course. It's an easy way to learn how to set up an annual strategy plan for your company. Enroll now and when you finish, you'll get a certificate. This course is all online and lets you go at your own pace. Learn with simple practical tools and negotiation templates. We have also included easy to read materials and extra content to make it interesting. For any inquiries, feel free to reach out to me at philippe at procurementtactics.com. Are you looking to enhance the skills of your procurement team? You've come to the right place. Here's what we have to offer. A range of online courses covering 10 different subjects designed to upskill teams globally. Visit our website to access all and download all the course syllabi. But that's not all. We also provide engaging workshops and we are excited to announce the launch of our community. Additionally, explore a wealth of free resources on our website with the option for more in-depth paid materials. Your journey to a more proficient procurement team will start here. Now on to the Q&A session. This is your chance to dive deeper into the topic we have discussed today and get answers to those burning questions on your mind. Let us know in the comments section here on LinkedIn and we'll be answering them right now. Thank you all for your attention. It was a pleasure and I look forward to seeing you again at our next webinar next week. Enjoy the rest of your day.